says um, if A is set, a set A is 3, 6, 7, 8, contains the elements 3, 6, 7, 8, and B contains the set of elements 5, 7, 9, and 10, what is in set A union B? Is this or or and? It's or because when I try and write the word and, it looks stupid. So it's or. And remember, or should be your easy one. If it's an A or it's a B, it gets listed, right? So I could technically go 3, 6, 7, 8, 5, 7, 9, 10. I just wouldn't write anything that's a double up, right? So I'm looking for 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, which is B. Now, this one here, P, is, contains the elements 2, 4, 8, and 16. Q are the factors of 6, which is 1, 2, 3, 6. R are the elements 4, 8, 12, 16. Which pair are disjoint? Disjoint means nothing in common. If I did the intersection between the two sets, I would result in the empty set because they would have nothing in common. So which ones have nothing in common? Uh, Q and R have nothing in common. It's true. So if I went Q, intersection R, I would get the empty set. That's how you know the disjoint. Uh, P and Q have 8 in common. P and, oh sorry, P and Q, sorry, have 2 in common. P and R have 8 in common, and none of the above makes no sense, because C is the answer. All right. This one here says, let the universal set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. M, B, elements 2, 3, 5, 7, N, B, 1, 3, 5. We want the intersection. Intersection is this symbol. And what does that symbol make? This word? And, right? So it means and. So I want what's in M and in N. What's in M and in N? 3 and 5. What does this little N mean? Number of elements. So I want the a number of elements not in N. So N has 1, 3, 5. So the complement of N, oops, these didn't change the color. The complement of N has not anything but 1, 3, 5. So 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, right? Now that doesn't fit in the numeric response box. People get mad at me. But is that what it's asking, to list all the sets? Our elements in the set. No, it's asking for um, how many there are. And how many are there? Six. We always fill in left to right. Do every, does every box need to be filled in on all numeric responses? Um, no. If they are all filled in, question yourself. It's probably not supposed to be. Fill in left to right and stop when you're done. So six. Okay. Um, what is the set A or B? So the factors of 16... This one doesn't give me a universal set, so I just list them. Are 1, 2, uh, 4, 8, 16. Because the factors are what multiplies to be that number. Factors of 8 are 1, 2, uh, 4, and 8. And then the even numbers less than 10 would be 2, 4, 6, 8. You could include 0 if you really want to. It doesn't say what type of even number. That's not going to change your outcome. So we want what's in A or B. So if it's an A or it's in B, I list it. So 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16, which is D. This one, I want the number of elements in A and B and C. So it means in all of them, right? So what's in A and B and C? Uh, 2, 4, and 8, correct? Wait, that's not the answer. There is no 2, 4, 8. What does this little n mean again? Number. Number of elements. How many elements are there? Three. In the, in the universal set of natural numbers, what is the complement of the multiples of three? The natural numbers start at what? One. So it's going to have to start at, well, that's a giveaway, d. One, two, not three, four, five, not six, seven, eight, not nine, etc. Okay. And we're going to look at the other page.
Okay. So here only contains A and B. Set C are even numbers, including zero, but we're not going to talk about that right now. We're just going to filter in set A and B. So the universal set are the whole numbers. Whole numbers start with the number with a whole, which is zero. And then we go less than or equal to 14. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, and we always show our work. A are the prime numbers of the universal set. So A equals the set of, remember you have to have squiggly brackets because round brackets and square brackets do not mean the set of. The set of, now what's my first prime number? 0, 1, 2, 3, what is it? 2. 1 is not a prime number nor a composite because the definition of a prime number is has two factors and one of them is one, right? Um, the number one only has one factor, it's just one. Composite is more than two. So we have two, three, five, seven, eleven, and thirteen. Factors of nine are one, three, and nine. C are the even numbers including zero, so zero, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. C doesn't actually appear on this Venn diagram because this Venn diagram is an AB Venn diagram. So I always have to start in the middle, right? At the AND portion of the Venn diagram. Always, always, always. So what's an A and B? Just 3. And then I have to make sure to put a dot behind it so I know that it's the number 3, not 3 elements. Correct? Then I go to A and I fill in all the rest of A that's not 3. So 2, 5, 7, 11, 13. Then I go to B and I fill in 1 and 9. And then I'm done? No. What do I have to remember to do? The ones that aren't in the set go outside. Yeah, the ones that aren't in the set but are in the universal set. So from 0 to 14, but that aren't in here. So 0 isn't here. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4 isn't. 5, 6 isn't. 7, 8 isn't. 9, 10 isn't. 11 is 12 isn't. And 14. And then I have my Venn diagram. Could I draw them randomly all around the circles and not in a nice sequential order on the bottom? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Still works. Yeah. Totally good. All right. So, A and B. Does this have a little N in front of it? Does it ask for the numbers of elements in? So, if it's just A and B, I have to go equals, squiggly bracket, and list all the numbers that are in that set, which is just actually three. And and is the eyeball, right? And then the eyeball is just the number three. This one is or. Or or union is what shape? Snowman. The snowman. So anything in the snowman. So I have uh, one, two, three. Accurate. One, two, three, um, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen. This means A and not B. So what is this a fancy way of saying? A, <coughs> what? A but not B. So if I have A but not B, I'm going to keep everything in A but not in B. So what is that only? It's just A. I want A only. When it's in this but not symbol, that means A only. <coughs> All right. A only. The ones in A only are 2, 5, 7, 11, and 13. Remember, if you don't know, what could you have done? You could have drawn it. A, B, and what I tell you when it has an and? You shade each separately and then you keep the doubled up color, right? So if I wanted to, I could prove it with highlighting again. Take my yellow and I highlight the first one. So A. <coughs> then I take my second one and I highlight not B, so everywhere but B.
and because it's a intersection, an and, I'm only going to keep this portion, the green portion, right? So I would redraw it and just say, bloop, bloop. I just want this piece because that's where it's green. If it was a union, I would, I would state anywhere it's colored, right? I would state anywhere it's colored. Well, here's a union. Well, hello. So if I do the union one, A, B, I still, A, I still do not B. And I actually state anywhere it's colored because it's a U, right? So I'm going to state any numbers in the colored area. Well, that's actually everything but B only, right? So I'm going to state everything but 1 and 9. So 0, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. What did I tell you to do when you get two complements? Do you leave it like that or do you change it? Remember I told you to change it? Put the knot outside. So don't use it this way. Go A, B, put the complement outside, and then what happens? Your intersection becomes a or. or. And your or would become a and, right? They just flip. So this is easier to deal with because what is this? What is this? A or B. What shape is that? A snowman. This is the snowman. So I want what's not in the snowman. So I want everything outside the circle, technically, right? What's not in the snowman. So that would be all the bottoms. 0, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Is B a subset of A? Is everything in B and A? What does B have? And what does A have? Thirteen. Is that it? Three, five, seven, eleven, and three. Okay. Is everything in B in A one? Di no. Actually, none of it is. That's a really bad example. Actually, it's the complete opposite of the subset, right? So, what are the two sets that result in an empty set? Well, if you do the intersection of them, you result in an empty set. Is there anything between B and A that's the same? Yes. Oh, yeah, just the three. So, that wouldn't work. What about B and C? Yes. B has 1, 3, 9. C is 2, 4, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Do they have anything in common? No. no. So, I could say B and C equal the empty set, so they're disjoint. What about complements of sets? What about if I said B and the complement of B? What's in those? Nothing. So are complement sets disjoint, actually? Yes. OK, I want you to take out a piece of paper. I'm going to practice something. OK, I want you to shade the regions for this. If this is A and B, I want you to give me all the shaded. So you're going to do these all separately. Number one, I want the Venn diagram that represents A, that. I want the, for number two, I want the Venn diagram that represents this. So I want the shaded regions, right? Like I want you to draw a Venn diagram for each question. So this one, for example, I would go A, B, and where would I shade? The eyeball. Because it's the end, right? Then you do two. Three is going to be this. Four is going to 
şöyle biraz. Then it's going to be this. So I'm going to have eight Venn diagrams drawn. This would be A, B. What is this symbol? Or, which is the what? What shape? Oh, and then not A and B. Remember when one of them is negated? It's just whatever one isn't only. When you have this and, do you see this? So this would be B only. If you don't see that, you can do the shading. A, B, I should not be using green. <coughs> Um, so I would shade not A in yellow. Oh, that is all. Not B. Oops. Go away. Not A in yellow. Then I would shade B in blue. And then I would only keep where? The green, because it has an end, right? So I would go like this. So it would be B only. If it's an or, you're done. Just leave it how it is. Whatever shade it is, shade it is, right? Call it a day. If it's an and, you will have to redraw it. Because this ask actually is not the correct thing. That just helped you get there. Right? So this one... A intersection B. This one is A only, but I can prove it by drawing it. A, B, this would be A. This would be not B. Keep in mind that whatever you're speaking goes on to the podcast very loudly. My phone picks up everything. All right. So the only thing I would keep is that this A circle. So it's A only. And then this would go away. It was just there to help me, right? The ores, anything shaded stays. So for this one, A, B. I can even shade them in the same color. Do I need different colors when it's or? Do I need different colors when it's or? Yeah. yeah. When it's or, do I need separate colors? Do I have to look for it overlaps or anything? No. So or, I could actually just shade them in the same color. So I could go A. And then I could shade not B. And then I'm done, right? Because or I could shade in the same color because anywhere it's shaded, it stays. It's the ands that I can't. This one? So I'm going to shade not A. Then I'm going to shade B. Then I'm done. What happens when I have double negated? Do I keep them that way? No. Nope. So when they're double negated, remember, I write it as A, B, put the negation outside, and flip the symbol. So this is not in the snowman, right? That's what this is? Not snowman. Guys, stop. So you have A, you have B, and I want what's not in the snowman. 
So I circle around the snowman and I shade everything not in the snowman. And then this one, A, B, not outside, flip my symbol. Oops. So now I want what's not in the what? Eyeball. So anything but the eyeball gets shaded. our notes to the three circle Venn diagram part in the notes. The Venn diagram displays the results of a survey of 100 students in a high school regarding movies they watched in the last two weeks. So this is the catches that we're getting three circles, not just two now, right? Three circles. So P represents the number of students who watched Perfect Rebel. C represents the number of students who watched Chill. And D represents the number who watched Dazed. Now this is the catch. They can put P, C, and D on the Venn diagram if they want to, as long as they say what it stands for. Now... How many students watched Only Perfect Rebel? How many in there watched Only Perfect Rebel? No overlap. Yes, three. These ones here. How many students watched Perfect Rebel? How'd you get that? Right. Yeah, you count in that P circle, the 1, the 1, the 6, and the 3. So that's 11. Exactly. How many students watched Chill and Dazed? Nope. Oh, 8. How did you do that? Yeah. So Chill and Dazed, and is what shape? Yeah, but what is it on a Venn diagram? What shape is and on a Venn diagram? The eyeball, yeah. So we want the chilled and dazed eye. Ooh, see, didn't realize I switched this one. So we want uh, the chilled and dazed eyeball, correct? Is technically what we want. Not just the two, we want the whole eyeball. So we go between the chilled and dazed and we find the, uh, the eyeball because that's what represents and. And how many are there? Eight. Eight. Now we have chilled or dazed. What shape is or? Snowman. The snowman. So now we want the C, A, C, D snowman. So the chilled or dazed is the whole snowman. Make sure you're paying attention or you will be lost. So we have 68, we have 70, we have 87, 88, 89, 95, I believe. I think it's 95, Adam. Yeah. How many students watched all three? What number represents all three? Six. The six. What does the two outside the circles represent? Nope. Two outside the circle. Outside the circles, not inside the circles. <laughs> Didn't watch any. Didn't watch any of the three films. So the two on the outside represents the people who did not watch any of the three films. Then I like we're at the one you were talking. About.
Then the next one says, what does the two, the number two on the inside of the circles represent? So I go to the number two here on the inside. What does this one represent? The number two on the inside. Watch only children. Watch only children days. Or you could say children days, but not perfect, perfect rebel. I forgot what that one was. You and I were in the same photo. I was like, ah, P. So, children days only. Ooh, that is a highlight. Chill and days only. Or you could say chill and days, but not perfect rebel. <coughs> And then we're going to flip over. Oh, friends. Open the window. Okay. Use pencil. Try and shade properly. So, we're going to go here and we're going to shade. A and B. So, and is what shape when it's only two letters and there's an and in between? An eyeball. So, we go to the A and B eyeball and we shade it. The next one says two letters with an or in between. Two letters, two sets with an or in between makes what shape? Snowman. So, I'm going to do the A or B snowman. If we get knots and stuff like that, you can't do eyeballs with snowman. It throws you right out. So this one here, this one wants A, but not B. So that's another way. Remember when it's A and not something? It's just A only. That's a fancy way of saying A only. So A and not B is all the A, but not the B. So here's A. And then I'm like, oh, that's B. I can't shade it. Okay, then I go this way. So it's A, but not B. So it's all the A, but not the B. The next one wants A, but not B and not C. So that's, that's a true A only, right? A, but not B and C. So I want the A circle, but I'm going to exclude all of the B and all of the C. So I want the A circle, but no B and no C. So it's just this piece. That's a true A only. Okay. Here we want to draw a Venn diagram. The catch here is this one has three sets, so we're going to have to have three circles, right? And you can either draw one and then two on the bottom or two on the top and one on the bottom. You just need to have three circles that are overlapping. So I usually do two then one. So here says the universal set are the natural numbers from 1 to 40. So in there, I better have all the numbers from 1 to 40. We agree? Because that box represents the universal set. But let's deal with these ones first. So E are the multiples of 8. So what are the multiples of 8 from 1 to 40? What are they? 8, 16, 24. Uh, and it says inclusive of 40, so we can keep it at uh, 32 and 40. Now, we can't fill in the Venn diagram at all until we have all of our sets and find out how many are in all of them, etc., etc. Multiples of 4. Where does a multiple of 4 start at? 4, 8, 16, 20, 
24, 28, 32, 36, 40. Factors of 34. 1 and 34. Any other one? There are two more. 2 and 17. 2 and 17. So I'm going to label these EFS. I need to start at the very middle. So I always, when I'm filling in a three-circle Venn diagram, I always have to fill in the absolute center of the three circles first. Then I go to the ands, the eyeballs. Then I go to the ors. So I have to start at the very middle. Make sure you're paying attention. Very middle. So are there any numbers in the three sets that double up? Or triple up, I mean, not double up. No. There's none. So actually, that very middle of the three-circle band is going to remain empty because there are no numbers that go there. Okay? Good afternoon, everybody.